E aí pessoal, então, sem mais delongas, voltamos aqui para o The First Tree, na segunda fase. Aqui está mais bonito, agora eu não sei se é o Alasca no verão ou... Não sei. Ah, tem um, tem um negócio aqui para cavar já. My teenage years were full of sketching, angst and trouble. Hmm. I wasn't popular or unpopular. Maybe just forgettable. I guess that gave me a sense of freedom. So I hung out with crazy kids, doing crazy things, even though I mostly just watched the chaos ensue. We did it all. Put fireworks in mailboxes, hide roadkill in people's garages, break windows of the barber shop in Anchorage. My dad was furious, but he was so busy working he couldn't do much to stop me from going out. I think being an adult means there's no one to stop you making hard decisions. He had to make a living, and he couldn't be in two places at once. Yeah, I realize that now. But at the time, I was sure he was more interested in growing his business than what was going on with me. Uma mesinha de trabalho. Eu achei aquele desenho meio pesado para uma criança, hein? O que ele desenterrou agora há pouco. Saying how bored they were and how they had come all the way out to my house for nothing. One of them mentioned how that old, ugly beyond belief truck was still in the garage and how we should take it for a spin. I was only 15, so I kind of fought it for a while. The next thing I knew, we were craning around the mountain path, rocks spitting onto the sides of the cliff, while my dad's cringe worthy bluegrass blared out the speakers. I drove while my friends were in the back of that yellow and purple truck, throwing beer bottles and trash at anything remotely interesting. It felt like I was soaring.
Será que... O que, que será que tem aqui? Ah, mas eu vou pular aí e vou gastar a borboleta. Droga. Ah, eu já vou ter que gastar aqui. Então, elas não são pra usar aqui. Outra borboleta aqui, ó. Então, acho que é pra gente pegar as três e utilizar em outro canto. Deixa eu ir lá pegar a outra. E a outra tá na pedra, né? Mas se bem que eu tinha que pegar aquela primeiro, porque... Ó, oh, tem um negócio aqui, ó. Branco e tem outro lá embaixo de cavar. Pra pegar essa daqui... É, eu tenho que pular na pedra, né? After he drove me home from the police station, I blew up at him, saying how I never wanted to be like him, how I was gonna be someone and leave that hick ice box for good. He just looked forward at the road with tired eyes. I took out that bluegrass tape from the cassette deck and chucked it out the window. In my sage teenage wisdom, I thought I had proved the ultimate point. But my dad had a different idea. He slammed the brakes, slowly bowed his head while gripping the steering wheel, and finally looked at me. All he said, like it was a polite request, was... Make this right. I sat there in silence, fuming, but I eventually got out and combed every square inch of the woods, muttering profanity after profanity. I found it 30 minutes later, near a small waterfall off the road. I went back to the truck, put the wet tape back in, and sure enough, it worked. We didn't speak another word to each other the rest of the night. Wow, I knew you were a crazy teenager, but... It's hard to believe, isn't it? Surprises me too. It's like I didn't really know who that kid was back then. I bet my dad thought the same thing over and over. It's almost like he was saying, make this right to himself, more than to me. My friends would laugh about that night and talk about how crazy it was. And I laughed along, pretending it didn't matter. But it did. I imagined my friends growing old in the bush, unable to find that thrill in those godforsaken ice fields. It's like those mountains were a literal wall, keeping me from leaving, where all I would have to look forward to are lumber yards and evening beers. I had to climb over. That was my only goal for a long time. Nothing would make me happier. I wanted to create instead of tearing trees down. I wanted to move to the lower 48, not because I hated it there in Alaska, but I hated the idea of it. It's like all of that spite inside me had created this monster which followed me around my whole teenage years. I put so much energy into doing what others didn't expect of me. Why did I do that? There's one fact you're forgetting, though. If you didn't have that fire in you, we probably would have never met. You're absolutely right. Maybe the destination is all that matters in the end. But then why am I awake? Why am I seeing this fox go on her journey? And why can't I stop thinking about my dad? Eu não estou vendo nada, nada, nada que possa ser cavável ou uma estrela. Vixe, a gente acabou. Ah, galera. Passamos aqui, então. Já sabe, né? Nos encontramos no próximo vídeo.
que já tá bem aí na sequência, é só você clicar aí ou está aí aparecendo no card, não sei, mas só clicar para o próximo, tá? Então, nos vemos no próximo vídeo, se você não é inscrito já, já se inscreve, deixa um like, se esse é o primeiro vídeo que você está vendo aqui do canal, volta aí e vê o antigo, o, anti, o, o antigo, ó, vê aí o primeiro vídeo que a gente fez para você acompanhar certinho a aventura dessa raposinha, que na verdade é uma personagem de um sonho. Então nos vemos no próximo vídeo, muito obrigado por ter nos assistido até aqui, um grande abraço e até daqui a pouco.